In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up and run HTML in Visual Studio Code on Windows 11. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is my Visual Studio code and first of all the first thing that we need to do is to go to extension and look for an extension that says code runner. Just search for that and you will see something like this that will say code runner. You have many other options but go with the first one and just click on it. I have already downloaded and installed it so in your case it will ask you or it will show you an option with the button that says install. So just click on that particular button and you are good to go. After you are done with this one, the next thing that we need to do is to go to our file section, click on preferences and click on settings. From here, at the top right, we have an icon that says open settings JSON. Just click on it. From here, remove these two lines and inside it, just write here code and from the given options, go with code runner executor map so i will just click on that one so you will see these lines of code appearing on its own onto your visual studio code now what we need to do go at the top and just before the first line right here html inside your inverted commas so i will write here html and after that just have your colon here after your colon right here again inverted commas and inside it will write here cd space dollar sign dir dir stands for directory after that double and sign space start space chrome chrome is a web browser in your case if you have a different browser you can change it i'm just giving an example in here after that space dollar sign file name and we are good to go at the end of this line, make sure to enter your comma. Otherwise, you will get to see an error in the next line. So we are good to go with this one. And now we just need to save this file. Just close this one. And now we need to create a workspace. So I'll go to my file section and I'll click on add folder to a workspace. I'll go to my desktop and in here I'll create a new folder and I will name it as HTML. Hit enter and we'll add this folder into our workspace. Now inside this workspace, I'll create a file and I'll name it as skillsbuild.html. And as soon as I have written HTML, it has taken the extension on its own in the icon space. So just hit enter. Now we are good to go. Now let's try to add some of the code into our HTML. So now just right here, shift, and exclamation marks. So as soon as you click on this first option, it will add some HTML code on its own into your documents to run. Now you can add anything into your HTML file. I will write here h1, which is a tag, and inside it, I'll have a message. I will write here, this is h1 tag. After that, let's have another tag. At this time, I'll use paragraph tag. So I will write here, this is paragraph tag. Let's save this file and now let's try to run our code that we have just written. So for that purpose, again, come here and click on this run code button or you can press Control, Alt plus N keys. So here, if you see, here we have an error because we do not have Google Chrome available into our system. And this is what I was trying to show you. And now I'll just click on OK and I'll open the settings JSON file again and I will write here Edge instead of Chrome. So I'll go to my files, preferences, settings and here I have my file. So instead of Chrome, I will write here Edge. I will save this file and now I'll go to my skillsbuild.html. And now we are ready to go. So now if I click on this run button and from here, if I click on run without debugging here, if you see here, we have two options. 
either we can go with chrome or we can go with edge but as you know i do not have chrome available that is why i'll go with edge and here it has started to run our script that we have just written so these two are the messages or these two are the tags and here we have the output as this is h1 tag this is paragraph tag and that shows our html is up and running into our visual studio code and that brings us to the end of today's video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll get back to you in the next video till then take care